Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Next in Geek Laravel performance tips, I wanna show you eager loading. In this video, I will show you why and how you should use eager loading in your Laravel project. So if you are new to this channel, hit the red subscribe button so you could never miss our upcoming videos. Now let's start. First of all, we will install Laravel Debug Bar. It is very useful and handy debugging tool that provides information like requests, DB queries, and other debugging features in Laravel application. We need to run this composer command in terminal to install Laravel Debug Bar. Next, if your Laravel version is below 5.5, then you need to add this service provider to the provider's array in config-app.php. Here I am on Laravel 5.7 and it has auto discovery feature, so we don't need this step. Now Laravel debug bar is installed. So next run php and serve and open this in browser. Here we have debug bar. You can see debug bar provides flash messages. Timeline, exceptions, views, routes, db queries, mails, auth, and requests. It is very useful debugging tool for project development. Now let's create some demo content in our project. So it would be easier to understand eager loading with examples. So first we will create a post model. PHP artisan make model post hyphen m. This hyphen m flag will create migration file as well. In database migrations, post migration, I'm going to add two columns in this post table. Table unsigned integer user ID. Table string title. In post model, I will add labels user id and title this post belongs to user so i will create a user relation function public function user return this belongs to user class user can have many posts so in user model i will create post relation function public function post return this as many post class now let's create post factory to generate few dummy posts php artisan make factory post factory in database factories Post factory. Here replace model with post. Next user ID equal to factory user class. Create ID and title equal to faker sentence. It is done. Now let's create few dummy posts in Laravel Tinker. PHP adds and Tinker. Factory app post class. Here I am creating 20 dummy posts. Here we got error. Actually we forget to migrate tables. Behind the scenes I have already set up database in .yml file. So we just need to run PHP adds and migrate. Now tables created, next php as and tinker and running previous factory function again. Now 20 dummy posts are created. In routesweb.php, I am going to create post route, post controller index. Next we are going to create post controller, php artisan make controller, post controller. In app, http, controllers, 
post controllers create index method here i am fetching all the posts then return post index view and pass post to that view in resources view directory create post index dot blade dot php i'm going to run php at send me code so i could steal some markup from auth login dot blade dot php delete this markup here in this post index blade file i will print all post title switch to terminal run php artisan serve and in browser i am going to open post url here it printed all post title and in debug bar you can see one db query is executed if we switch back to editor and print post username as well and then back to browser give a refresh here it had printed post username but on debug bar you can see 21 db queries are executed here we have 20 posts if post count increases to 30 then here in this example db queries would be 31 and on 50 posts there would be 51 db queries and so on this is we call n plus 1 problem because we are making another query for every post to solve this n plus problem we use eager loading we have already created user relationship function within the post model so all we need to do is update this by function with and we will pass user relationship which is created in post model next switch back to browser and give a refresh now we have just two queries instead of 21 we have reduced the amount of queries which is very important for project performance if you want to load more relation model for example comments for the post then you just need to pass here like this let's give a try with post comments relation also for that we need to create comment model php artisan make model comment fnm to create migration as well in database migration comment migration here i will add three columns in comments table table unsigned integer user id table unsigned integer post id table text body now let's create comment factory to generate some dummy command for each post php at send me factory comment factory in database factories comment factory replace model with comment model next user id equal to factory user class create id post id equal to factory post class create id and last body equal to faker content it's done next in terminal php artisan migrate refresh it gonna roll back migration and run migration again 
Next we are going to run php adds and tinker to create some dummy posts and comments for each post. Post equal to directory app post class 20 create. Here I want to create 5 comments for each post. So how are we gonna do that? Let's do this by for each loop. For each dollar post as post. In this loop I will create dummy command for each post. So factory app command 5 create. Here if we are gonna pass array of post id equal to dollar post id. That's all. Hit enter. Now we have created demo posts and comments. Now let's check. If I run dollar post at zero index comments, enter. Here we get null because we have not created comments relation in post model. Let's create this in post model. Public function comments and return this has many comments class. Let's test this in Tinker if we get the comments for post php adds and Tinker dollar post equal to app post and dollar post comment. Enter. Here we get command for this post. Next in editor, post index.blade.php. Here I will display post commands in list item. So for each dollar post commands as dollar command in li tag. We will print comment body. It's done. Now let's check this in browser. We forgot to run php and sub. Back to browser. Refresh. Here we have printed comments for each post. And in debug bar you can see it has 122 queries. This can be a big problem for our project's performance. To fix this, we're gonna pass command selection here in this with method. Go back, refresh. Now we have three queries. And we have reduced query from 122 to just three. How cool is that? Let's take another example. Suppose we are building APIs. And we will do something like this. Return post get in browser refresh. Here we got the JSON output. It's not properly formatted and we cannot understand. So let's install a JSON formatter extension for Chrome. It's gonna format the JSON data in browser. It's installed now. Switch back to project, refresh, and it is beautifully formatted and we can easily understand this JSON output. You can see we have post output here, but do not have user or comments along with this post. So go back to editor. Again, we will call with method and pass user relation. In browser refresh. Now you can see user is loaded with each post. If we want a comments as well, for that we just need to pass comments here. And refresh. Now we can see it's huge now because user and comments are loaded with each post. We can also pass both of these into array as well. Refresh. Same result. That's all in the eager loading. I definitely suggest to use eager loading in your projects. 
If you like the video, hit the like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe us. See you in the next upcoming video.